So we spend a lot of time pounding on the Democratic Party and individual Democrats on this show. But the truth is, we're going to be totally honest, we need a sane Democratic Party in America if we're going to continue. Democrats and Republicans will always disagree on specific solutions, but the key is this. Both parties have to have the same goal, improving the country and the lives of the individual Americans who live here. As long as you have that, the rest is just a policy debate. That's the way it's been for centuries. That's what we need to return to. And there is, we're happy to say, some evidence on the margins that some people in the Democratic Party are beginning to realize this. Here's an example. Abigail Spanberger is a pretty liberal, actually, member of Congress from the Richmond suburbs of Virginia. But last week, after her party was crushed in that state, she said some true and obvious things about why her party might be in trouble. Here's part of it. Nobody elected Biden to be FDR, she told the New York Times. They elected him to be normal and stop the chaos. We were so willing to take seriously a global pandemic, but we're not willing to say, yeah, inflation is a problem and supply chain is a problem and we don't have enough workers in our workforce. We gloss over that and only like to admit problems in spaces that we dominate. So it's not a partisan point to note that that's just true. It's absolutely true. These aren't radical observations. They're really obvious. But on the left right now, it takes courage to say that. And as Americans, we want to do whatever we can to support people who think like this, regardless of what party they're in. Tulsi Gabbard is one of those people, and so we're always happy to talk to her. She joins us tonight. Congresswoman, thanks so much for coming on. It does seem like thanks, as long as everybody can agree that you want to make the lives of the people who live here better, that you can't kind of go too far off course. Do you think that that, you know, everyone's sort of waking up to that? Are we moving toward remembering that or, or no? I, I think that really is the critical thing here is that when we have Democrats and Republicans in positions of leadership, of course, there are going to be disagreements on different issues or how we approach solving the problems of the American right. people. But so long as the goal is the same, the goal being, hey, we want to do what is best for the American people and our country, then we know that progress is possible. And that's where we, we absolutely need more than just sane leaders, because the problem is bigger than just insanity. The problem that we have now is leaders who are so willing to manipulate the American people to further their own selfish political interests yes. or money or power or whatever it is. And we see this very clearly in, in how everything in our country is being racialized, that this is an intentional strategy to tear us apart based on the color of our skin because they think that there's some political gain to be had from it, and they don't care at all about the destruction that they leave uh, in their wake. And this is what we as voters need to reject and choose leaders who do put the American people in our country first, who share that objective from both political parties. Yeah, that, the example you just gave, which is at the center of so much of the rhetoric, is such an obvious dead end. It's, it's you know, the, the, the end point of that is, is violence and division, everyone can tell. You have gotta think that there are people in the Democratic Party who get that, uh, are there? Uh, I sure hope so. Unfortunately, as uh, we see too often, uh, more and more Democrats are pushing this, this racialization. They are pushing uh, more fomenting of anger and hatred and divisiveness uh, that, that really is destroying us. It, it's causing more suffering and more harm to the American people and the fabric of our country and undermining these values that our country was founded on. Uh, I think this is where, when you look at the election that happened uh, in Virginia, you saw Terry McAuliffe represented that fomenting of divisiveness, this racialization, and Virginia voters rejected that. And again, regardless of political party, this is what I hope we see more of in the country, that voters take a stand and make a choice, Democrat or Republican. We want leaders who sincerely care for our people and care for our country and who will serve, putting those interests of service above self. Man. It's just so inspiring to hear that. And I, I got to think that there, the vast majority of Americans agree with what you, what you just said, no matter what they look like or who they voted for. So thank you for saying it. Tulsi Gabbard, former thank member you. of Congress from Hawaii.